Hello and welcome to SAP Learning Academy. In this video, I will be explaining about the task 7 and this is the day 8 of this tutorial. And in this tutorial, I will be explaining about very important planning function called distribution by reference data. In my previous videos, I have explained all the tasks from task 1 to task 6 those who have not seen my previous videos please look into those anyway i will be explaining all the previous tasks very briefly so that you can understand the task 7 uh, very easily so so in this task i will be creating a planning function called distribution by reference then i will be adding this planning function in a planning sequence then i will add the planning then then i'll run the planning sequence so that you can see the data how it moves so and after that in the coming videos i will be uh, creating new videos on analysis for office so so let me go to the system and let me tell you the requirement of task 7. this task 7 is the planning data of version C will be distributed among T1 to T T6 according to actual. So let me go to the requirement. So what is needed to be done in task 7? So this is task 7. I believe you remember my previous uh, videos uh, till task 6 what was done. So let me show you quickly in the data. So this is the data. So please look into this video till the end in order to understand this because this is little bit critical as well as very important in terms of planning you know because distribution by reference data is very vital because sometimes you need to reference to a to an another uh, DSO and from there you need to capture the data. So in the last video if i remove the those are with zero so i will exclude zero because zero doesn't have any meaning yes so in my plan area so i have data like uh, two water group i mean two group material group water and juice and here data in person b and c now I will be working on version C as I have told here in the slide the planning data of quantity planning of sales manager in C shall now be distributed among two material T1 and T6 and and uh, so let me tell you again so now I will be distributing this data again into material so my material names are T1, T2, T3, T4, T5 and T6 like and my reference data is this one. This is an another ADO so where uh, we have all the data like if I uh, see the data if you look into this data look we have the juice so here we have material like T4, T5, T6 and what we have T1, T2, T3. So we will be we will create a uh, planning. So let me now. So I hope you have a little bit understood about the requirement. So the requirement is again I'm explaining that the data we have in the target this target we will be distributing this data again into material. So now we have data in terms of material group now we'll be uh, transferring the data into material material and we'll be referencing to the another ADSO so and where we will see the ratio what will be done in the planning uh, planning you know that it will be looking into this target and it will see the ratio how the data is stored here and based on that it will distribute the data they based on that it will distribute your this data so let me then uh, go to the planning sequence so in our earlier in videos we have created uh, till this part so this is the and this this is till the task 6 now we, i will create the last task so as i mentioned earlier that we are distributing into material so in our last aggregation level we do not have any 
material so so that we need to create a new aggregation level which contains material so that is the first requirement first objective that you have to make so and i have already uh, you know in order to make this uh, i have already created the aggregation level so this aggregation level is this one so you can see that so everything will be same as per the earlier uh, aggregation level just you need to create a, another aggregation level by copying the previous one and you can ne you need to add the article here so once you add the article because this is what you need in your requirement so then you need to activate this aggregation level so once you have done you have to create a filter and for this uh, video purpose I have already created the filter so if you look at the filter look the main important line is the article so I'm distributing this article this uh, this blank has value into t1 to t6 and the material group is juice and water and person is C so so this filter is just for you know extracting the data from your from your plan cube because now if I look into this so I will be taking the person C I'll be taking person C and I will be distributing only thousand in this uh, case I will be distributing only thousand because I have given the in a selection thousand I have not given thousand and two thousand both I have given only thousand so in this case so it will only distribute thousand and two thousand will remain same so so only this thousand this below two records will be distributed you know this below two records will be distributed you know among t1 to t6 and and this is the article field it was earlier blank so we are distributing from blank to t1 to t6 so my aggregation level is ready and filter is also ready now i will create the planning sequence planning function sorry so in the planning function uh, i'm giving a name like this now click on create then choose the function type so this is the distribution by reference data so you need to give a description for that so i'm giving a description like distribution by rep so so once that is done okay sorry this one is already exists so let me delete one time yep. yes now i will create it again so i will choose as reference data then distribute by reference yes now can you assume which field has to be changed and which field will be in condition and very importantly it will be article article will be changed here as you have remembered the requirement my requirement is I will be distributing the material group the data of material group into articles so my the fields to be changed will be uh, will be article and condition will be material group because I will be giving condition of material group so look now go to the parameter click on parameter here is this in so that you can see it very clearly yes so now you have to again go to this parameter so once you go here so now this is the all the options for selecting the reference data so then you need to select the key figure so which key figure you are distributing is this the sales quantity and then uh, you need to select the reference data so this is what is important in this video so like it is and you know, let me just show here yes 
here it is version a in my act so that's why we have to give person a and so once it is done then you have to go to this uh, key figure option so select this key figure then you have to go to this manual entries because you will be distributing from has yeah. once that is done then you have to go and create another condition now now you can see the option create so again similar for what you have to create the parameter so uh, here al also you need to set similar what you have done for juice so you need to select the reference data you need to again choose the manual entries and you need to set the key figure here so in this manual entries you have to create it i hope you have understood how we have created in juice we have we have we have done the changes from t4 t5 and t6 and for what will be distributing the data into t1 t2 t3 so once you have done that save it so once you have saved now you have to go and add in the planning sequence so this is my main planning sequence and here we will be adding at the end so and we have created the new plan aggregation level which we need to add here in this aggregation level we have added only material then we have to take the filter which we created and then the planning sequence which we just created now so once you have added in the planning sequence save it so once it is saved you need to run it you can run this one so once you have run it uh, we can see that two records read and six generated zero change to deleted so we can see some records have been generated so that is the main thing which we are looking for so uh, the company code as you remember that we have not chosen company code 2000 we have only chosen 1000 for the distribution so that's why and we can see two material group juice and water so if we click on the first line we can see here it is so the has the this is the before amount and this has been distributed among t1 uh, t4 t5 and t6 and if you look into this it is again distributed among t1 t2 t3 so this was the total value and it has been distributed and I, I i hope you have understood the ratio but i will show you again how it has been distributed so it has actually look into the previous uh, data i mean the reference data how it has been distributed here and then it has been distributed so i will explain the logic again so if we choose 1000 only because 1000 has been considered in this case and I will uh, remove the T watt I will remove T watt because T watt is not required in our case it is only watt and juice yes here it is now you can see that it is the ratio kind of 1 1 and 3 this is the ratio in what similarly if you go for the what it is the this is the total value and and t1 t2 and we need to, we need to look into the you know new values this is the reference value so i will uh, save the data once it is planning data is saved so now go to your another DSO, the planning DSO, where you know this data, this data has been distributed into articles. So I will go back and execute again. So here it is. Look. So I will just quickly, you know, filter the data. It is for one thousand, and we have done on person C and we have done for and we will remove the quantity with zero
so here it is so now I will show you by calculating how it has been distributed so so in our previous you know this actual DSO this what is like 113 1 is to 1 is to 3 and so and let me go to planning sequence again yes so let me open the calculator yes so 1 is to 1 is to 5 so it means 1 by 5 into 140 540 so 108 so for t1 108 and t2 it's 108 and t3 and it will be again it's just a simple calculation 3 by 5 into 5 40 324 that's why the new value is 324 it's a simple uh, division so this is how we are we have distributed the data you know by referencing into a new area so i hope now you have understood regarding this and please uh, look into my previous videos of this tutorial so that you can understand everything clearly regarding the copy planning function and uh, you know the other planning function like revaluation and repost so and redistribution by keys so thank you for watching this video i will be coming up with a new video very soon thank you for watching